From Jonas Cobb's devilish antagonist to James Palmer's iconic medical examiner, these are the most underrated characters on the crime drama that started it all, NCIS. Starting with one of the more overlooked antagonists in the show, he's the notorious serial killer that gripped audiences during his on-screen presence. Infamously named the Port to Port Killer, it's Jonas Cobb. Played by Kerr Smith, Cobb was originally introduced to audiences as the ex-sailor recruited by the FBI. Later turning into a serial killer, he targeted enlisted men from around the globe. Can't help but say we did see that coming with a man like him. Kerr Smith first appeared as an extra on 12 Monkeys. From that point in time to Dawson's Creek, his journey as an actor is commendable. And so seeping into the killer role was nothing but perfection. Although his appearance on the show was two episodes long, the on-screen aura he exuded was hypnotic. He now stands as the unique deviant in an ensemble of on-screen villains through the years on NCIS. In NCIS's incredible cast, there is also a team player, incredible doctor, and someone who was away from all the action yet close up. A forensic psychologist who is a low-key mind reader of the perpetrators and therapist to protagonists, a woman working in a male-dominated field and acing it like a pro, it's none other than Dr. Grace Confalone, gracefully played by Laura San Giacomo. The doctor is the empathetic side to everyone on the show. Amidst all the violence, Dr. Grace provides the healing to our beloved yet broken TV characters. Having gone through what these cops went through, I would need empathy for sure. And to be honest, a figure like Dr. Grace is just what we need in life. Sweet, charming, and knowing her way around being smart, strong, and kind. Now, to some of you, Dr. Grace's might only be recognizable on NCIS. But Laura San Giacomo might seem like a familiar face, especially if you've seen Pretty Woman, appearing alongside Julia Roberts. She perfectly portrayed the supporting actress role in her rise to fame. Working all the way to NCIS, she made Dr. Grace Confalone a memorable character for a long time. A character who is always there, but we might seem to overlook. But today, we know without her, the team wouldn't cut it. When talking about underrated TV characters, you might stumble upon certain archetypes. I personally can't help but remember all the ex-wives from the silver screen and, well, the red carpet. It just seems like these female members just come to play an integral role in the show's storylines. NCIS, folks, is no different. Some of you might have guessed it. I am indeed talking about the ex-wife of NCIS Special Agent Gibbs. The former criminal investigator for the IRS, it's Diane Sterling. Originally played by Heather Scobie for a good part of the show, the actress was replaced by Melinda McGraw for further episodes. Nonetheless, the character was one hell of a presence on NCIS. Sometimes, I feel like people really underestimate the presence of a supporting yet recurring character. With Diane, what we fans truly got was a badass. Introduced as an investigator in the show, seeing her team up with others was a thrill on its own. But what made her a delight to watch was how well she did her job. Kudos to Melissa for that wonderful performance. There is something, though, that I think many fans might not have noticed about her character's presence. It is not typical of shows to do this, nor is it something we see often. But whenever Melissa's character graced the screen, we saw more and more moments of comic relief. Distinct from other crime dramas, this sure makes NCIS one hell of a show. For this reason alone, I think this former investigator was one memorable character. Not to forget, Melissa had an iconic role on Mad Men, too. And I have to say, she has had an emotional roller coaster on the show. Yep, I think her death was unfortunate, too. But let's be real, shall we? Characters like these end up in the wrong place at the wrong time, just like she did. Having said that, there are also characters who are in the right place at the right time. One person that comes to mind is none other than Bond, James Bond. Although there is no Bond on the show, there is someone from MI6 that serves with NCIS. You guessed, I am indeed talking about the dark and handsome Clayton Reeves. The Idris Elba lookalike might confuse you sometimes with his looks, but do not be fooled. He is the liaison officer at the NCIS. 
Known amongst his fans as Clay and the British guy on the show, Dwayne Henry portrayed the British agent with suave and elegance. Well, all this style didn't come from nowhere. We do learn that Clay's rough childhood and late alcohol addiction play part in who he becomes. Well, if that is not a formula to create the perfect tough guy, I don't know what is. All I can say is if his parents died in an accident, he would have made the perfect specimen. Oh wait, but his parents did die when he was only three. If you ask me, I have to say his presence in the show is one for the books. So I have to give it to him. With just two seasons worth of appearances, Clay does make one massive impact on us, especially with that British charm and towering frame. But well, not every character is all tall and dominating. I mean, after all, even those tall action heroes too end up in the hospital. And if you ask me, they all require those guys in the end. Yep, the guys with circular frames and hair nets in their scrubs. And there is surely someone on NCIS that it reminds me of. Well, it might just be our beloved James Jimmy Palmer, aka the Autopsy Gremlin. This has to be one of the most overlooked characters in like, ever. Think for yourself, in any true crime show, we find ourselves in a crime scene. Sure, the detective dashes in all chaotic, but the real MVPs of these scenes are definitely the forensic scientists. They appear out of the flashing of cameras with plastic gloves on their hands and out of nowhere are asked what happened to the person lying on the floor. Well, our Jimmy is the real deal when it comes down to business. Brian Deitzen, the brilliant actor behind Jimmy's persona, shared some really interesting insights about his performance on the show. He said, I knew he had some round glasses and he wore the same pants size as me. That's about it. Now that's some insightful dig at Jimmy. I mean, think about it. This just goes to tell us how original of a portrayal Brian had in his mind before he even embarked on his journey as the autopsy gremlin. More so, in the show, it just seems that the average forensics guy just evolves with time. Brian, too, thinks that when compared to the first season of the show, this character that might usually go under people's radar was a shy, reserved scientist who did his work. Honestly, if you ask me, I couldn't agree more. The Dr. Palmer I remember from the initial seasons of the show is nowhere near the one that Brian becomes in the later ones. I sometimes think about shows that are big, like NCIS Big, that cross 300 plus episode markers. And honestly, I do not think many characters truly even make it out of being properly recognized by the audiences, especially the supporting cast, who finds it hard to find their place. But this guy, you have to hand it to Brian Dyson, folks. He took his character through a journey we did not see coming. Well, I didn't. From his subtle naivete in season one to him becoming the backbone of the NCIS operations, I have to see that people actually realize the magnitude of putting up such a performance. On a show viewed by millions, that went on for years, which wasn't even an original show but a spin-off, and to be able to make your place as the round spectacle coat-wearing forensic scientist, you have to be one hell of a performer. I mean, the guy himself said it out loud, the doctor will continue to bust bad guys from his lab. And who knows, he might break another thumb too. So there you finally have it folks, from James Palmer's iconic medical examiner to Jonas Cobb's devilish antagonist, these were the most underrated characters on our crime-filled drama of our time, NCIS.